This is the latest initiative that we have um, for parking on street right now. Uh, it enables you to pay using your cell phone or your smartphone. Using the cell phone, it's just simply calling in a 1-800 number and registering either over the phone or through the use of Park Mobile's website, www.parkmobile.com. You can either register that way or you can go in and simply use their website to uh, enter in your own credentials. It does require a, a subscription-based form of payment. So you do have to have a credit card on file for this payment transaction. It does require you to put a billing address in. It does require to have your mobile phone number entered into it as well. And the last piece of information is your vehicle license plate. Everything is tracked by vehicle license plate through the, through the system now. What you can do when you're ready to start parking after you've registered is you simply download that app and open up that application. Uh, once you park on the street, you'll notice that we still have the same space placards that we had. We've got a different look to them now, a different color and a slightly different branding on them now. Uh, it still has the four digit space number. We're calling that a zone number through the pay by phone system. So once you open up your phone app and you're ready to start parking, you'll enter in that four digit number. It will then recognize your location on the city of Tampa it will bring up your uh, license plate number that you've entered with your subscription account and then it will ask you to um, pay by the hour. So you'll then go to the next page of the app and it will, it will allow you to select between one hour or two hours if it's a two hour duration meter. Um, so let's just say we decide to select one hour. Uh, once we do that it will take us to another screen that will confirm the charge to park in that space for one hour as well as the license plate number, the time that our parking session starts, and the time that our parking session ends. So you'll confirm that information and hit start parking. And you simply walk away and conduct your business downtown, whether it's a, an office appointment or a luncheon appointment or just general sightseeing in downtown Tampa. Probably the biggest benefit of this system is it's another option to make it convenient to park in downtown Tampa. If you remember, it wasn't too long ago, three or four years ago, you could only pay by coin when you parked at a downtown meter. Some of the problems that would cause was just people just didn't have enough coin on them. So it was about three years ago we introduced the pay station or the pay station kiosk, which accepted credit card payment on the street. We still think that's a fabulous option for folks that are visiting just for the weekend. No reason to set up a subscription account if you're just going to be here for a couple of days. But if you're a frequent flyer and you come downtown once a week, twice a week, um, whether friends or business, whatever the case may be, it's an, a good idea to sign up for the subscription and you can conduct all your payments through your cell phone. You no longer have to dip a credit card or put coins into the machine. Um, probably the other biggest advantage is, is you can set up reminder notices. When your one hour is about ready to expire, as we talked about, it will send you a text notifying you that you're about ready to expire. You'll have the option at that point to either add another hour, if you know you're going to be running a little longer, or you can just simply say, okay, I'm done with, with my downtown visit and go back and move your car. Another neat feature we have with the uh, Park Mobile app that you download to your phone is it gives you a scanning feature. Let's just say you parked and you don't have the time to enter the four digit number. You can click a scanning option on your phone and the scanning window come up. On the back of each space placard, you'll see a QR code. All you do is hold your scanning window right up to the QR code on the placard. It will collect that.